Your sump pump just failed. Now what? You can be comfortable with us. Hi guys, it's Caleb Postma from Postma Heating and Cooling. And as you can see in this sump pit here, your the sump pump is completely submerged by water. It has completely failed. Now, like I said in the last video, that you can actually take the cord for the sump pump and you can plug it directly into the wall, getting rid of this one, and you can see if your sump pump comes on. Now, in this case it works, but let's pretend it doesn't for just a minute. Let's pretend that your sump pump is filling up with water. Now, what happens? In a perfect scenario, you have a backup sump pump. This here is a water-powered backup sump pump. And what it is, is it uses um, city water pressure to run a turbine which uses which which sends the water back out of your house. What people forget when it comes to a backup sump pump is you have to test it. You're not allowed to just leave it for years and years and years and assume that it's going to come on. You have to actually run your backup sump pump. Well, an easy way to do it, depending on your configuration, is to fill your sump pit with water, like I'm doing here, or you can actually get down there and you can actually lift the float to see if your pump comes on. And that's what we want to do is we want to make sure your sump pump comes on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lift this float on the backup sump pump up. And you can hear that it's coming on and it's going to run and it'll probably run down and, and drain some of the drain some of the water until the float gets all the way down again. Um, and the reason we want to do this is because there's nothing worse than having a backup sump pump that doesn't come on. You did your work. You did what you're supposed to do when you have a backup sump pump, but then you forgot about it. So we don't want that to happen. Test your backup sump pump. And for that matter, test your regular sump pump too.